has this distress in it right here and it's on the sides as well i count up so much money lately i count up so much that they hate me yeah i make niggas mad because they what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome to my channel in today's video i will be giving you guys a jean haul i got about like this many jeans that can help y'all improve your style how to wear what to wear with i will be telling y'all where i got these jeans from and they're all affordable but before we get into this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will be putting on these jeans for y'all so that y'all can see like what they fit like and all that stuff so yeah let's get right into the video so for my first pair of jeans i do have these right here i got these from this website named azar it has this distress in it right here and it's on the size as well. These are stacked jeans. They're pretty long. And then this, this is around the waist, how it is. It has like this distress around the waist as well. And then the ends are like this. They're cut a little bit, but not too much. And then y'all see the rips all down the leg. So I'm gonna try these on for y'all. So these is the first jeans right here. I paired it with these shadow back boys because of the tan on the jeans. Um, Down here, it has tan as well. They don't fit real tight around the waist for real. It's mainly like, all in here it has like a little loose thing in the back back here so it's not really tight back there uh and yeah so now i'm gonna show y'all the next jeans that i got uh i'm gonna just stand up for the rest of the time because it don't make no sense for me to keep moving the camera back over here and then moving it back up there so these are the next jeans right here um i did get these from the thrift store they were all black but i used bleach and i got this tan color it's gonna end up dying like this so i put like the spot patches all over it so that it can match my um rick owens it came out so hard i like these jeans um easily top two in my collection and yeah so you see they got like these rips all right here as well and then it's like an ash black it's not it's not like a solid black it's like an ash black so now i'm gonna put these on for you guys i'm gonna show you how i rock them almost just got naked on camera so y'all these are the jeans right here um I put these on the list because they're easy to make. I just added the bleach onto them. Literally just got bleach and I like dapped it on there, like poured it around the jeans to get this color. And then it look like this. And then you see it matches the laces on the Rick Owens. It's a real easy make. Um, let me know if y'all will let me know if y'all want me to do a tutorial on it so you don't mess up your jeans. But yeah. But it's it's easy though, you shouldn't really mess them up. So y'all, these are my third pair of jeans right here. I got these from Armani Exchange. They're very distressed all around. And then they got these, um, I don't know what those is, but it's like, it says, it says Armani Exchange on it. And it says like some other stuff as well. And then this is the other side. It has a little bit of something going on on the bottom, but not so much. This is how they look right here, out. I like how they're blue jeans with this, um, with this black with the black stuff on it. But I'm gonna put these on for you guys. I'm gonna show y'all how I rock them. So these are the jeans, y'all. I did pair these with my all black Jordan 4s. They are a little dirty, don't mind them though. So yeah, I got the two rips right here on the kneecap. It's not really tight around here. Uh, The bottom is like loose. I like all my jeans to be longer so that they go over my shoes. The nice writing, I don't know. They're just different and I never I never saw nobody with these jeans. I usually wear this with like a black shirt. Okay, and then next I have these all gray jeans but they are stacked on the bottom uh they got these they got the distress on the knees right here uh that's about it that's about it for these jeans they are distressed all uh, like around here but other than that they're just some plain jeans i made them stacked i'm gonna try them on and i'm gonna show y'all so these are the jeans i did get these from the thrift store i managed to find two gray jeans and i just put them together to make them to make them stack so that they cover my shoes on the tops. If y'all want me to show y'all how I stack my jeans, I can show y'all, I can make a video on it. But yeah, it's some nice plain gray jeans, but I think the stack just adds to it. It just like makes them like not, it just makes them, it just makes them not regular. It's not really too much to say about these jeans. They just some gray jeans and I stack them. That's about all, get the next pair of jeans. So now I'm moving over to cargos. These are some cargo jeans. They, they're not like, they're not like the, um, I don't know how to explain them. Like, you know how the Walmart ones, they're like cargos, but they're like, I don't know. These are jean cargos though. I got these from Dickies. I feel like these are better than the Walmart ones, but I do have some Walmart ones. This is the material. And yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna put these on and I'm gonna show y'all. These are the cargos right here. I can't really wear them because I ended up um, breaking the zipper right here. I paired it with my shattered backboards. I like the material on them. They're not the Walmart ones. And yeah, Dickie ships pretty fast as well. I got these, I wanna say I got these jeans in like a week. 
yeah i got this the week so let me show you all my next pair so next i have these camo cargos right here i got these from walmart they were around like i want to say 14 dollars uh you see the material it's like jean type it's like jean ish kind of you can either pair these cargo pants with something like uh like these shoes right here it has two pockets on this side and then one pocket on this side right here we put these cargos on for y'all and i'm gonna show y'all how they look so these are the second pair of cargos right here uh i did get these a bigger size because i wanted them to be over my shoes they still kind of not over my shoes but it's fine um they real comfortable these are probably like one of my most comfortable pair of pants that I have in my collection. I did get them from Walmart. They were pretty cheap. I feel like cheap pants are always good pants. Oh, next pair of jeans. Okay, so next I do have these orange jeans right here. I had these from Sheen, but I have yet to wear them. This is the bottom. That's what it looks like opened up. It has some cuts around here. Um, And then some cuts on the other leg as well. No cuts in the back. They don't really feel like some, you know, like they don't really feel like they feel like jeans but they don't really feel like jeans if you know what i mean probably because i got them from sheen but the design around the hip right here is nice i did i do have some other jeans like this i made them myself uh and yeah so let me try these on for you guys and i'm gonna show y'all what they look like on me and how i wear them so these are the jeans right here i did pair them with my all white air forces um you see around the waist it has like this distress so I mean, I wouldn't wear a belt with these just to show off the distress right here and the distress on the bottom. And you can see the two rips right here. They are pretty big with some solid jeans that have like this solid color. I would wear some all white shoes or some all black shoes or something like that just to like not do too much. So for the next pair of jeans, I have these right here. Um, I made these jeans. I made these jeans right here. I got them from Walmart and I just added this distress around here this distress on the bottom right here around here and i did i know i did some right here yeah i did a little bit down here that's like towards the leg part down there um and then on this side i did distress on my knee and i think i did some in the back i did a little bit on the back pockets right there if you can see so yeah i pretty much just went crazy on these jeans just to see how it was gonna come out i got these jeans from walmart but i cut them with a razor let me know if y'all want me to show y'all how to cut jeans like this so that y'all don't have to spend too much of money so let me show y'all how i look when i put it on so these are the jeans right here i did pair them with my military black jordan fours um simply because of the white and black that was going on already um you could kind of see them like you see them i paired them with my military black jordan fours um i got a whole bunch of distress going on on the bottom that i made and then you see like around the hips right here as well. I got like a on point size waist, but I did get the length to be longer than I was supposed to, but that's fine because I like how, I don't know, I like how the jeans just like, I like how the jeans just go over the shoes. Nice pair of jeans. So for my next pair of jeans, these are pretty big. I got them around the time when I was wearing bigger jeans. These still are nice to me. They have a little bit of the distress on them. Just simple jeans, but they're pretty nice. I got these from Marshalls. You see the bottom, it doesn't really have distress. I paid around like, I think I paid around like $15 for them. So I'm gonna try these on for you guys. So this is what I meant by big. They, you see how big they are. I did pair these with my Jordan 4s. Sadly, they're not as long as I want them to be going down. I wanted them to be bigger to like cover the shoes. So moving on, I have these jeans right here. I got these from m, &M uh, It's just some simple pair. It has like this tight, it's like pretty tight right here. And that, this part goes on your knee. It has some light distress around the legs right here. Uh, and then on the, other, on the other side as well, some light distress with the same part right there. On the back, it's pretty plain. It's not really nothing going on. But well, let me try these on for you guys. So guys, these are skinny jeans, but going down, they're not so skinny, like down here. I did pair these with my Air Force Ones. Nice, simple pair of jeans. Uh, got this right here this distress they look like some designer type of jeans if you look at them but i did get them from mnml these are the next jeans that i have i did get these from marshall's um it has like this nice design on the back pockets of both and it's like it looks kind of like y2k ish i like it because of the designs on the back but other than that they're just some gray wash jeans the design on the back is really what's fire to me so let me put these jeans on and show y'all how they look and so these are the jeans right here other than the designs in the back they're just some normal gray jeans 
I paired them with my black cats. I'm telling y'all, Marshalls, Walmart, m and ML is all you need. Okay, so these are the next jeans right here. Um, they are leather type. I got these from m and ML. It has like these flames on the bottom as well. They're not tight, they're pretty loose around here, like around the leg part. Okay, so these are the jeans right here. I paired these with my Rick Owens. They're pretty loose around here, so I do wear a belt when I wear these. And then you can wear like, some plain shoes with these. They don't necessarily have to be something like Rick Owens. Okay, so I wore this jacket with it once. So you see the leather right here, and then the leather going into the pants, and the tan right here that's on the, um, and then the tan right here that's on the sweater. It matches the Rick Owens laces. So, it matches the Rick Owen laces. I got this leather jacket from Alfred Eden. Uh, let me know if y'all want me to do a leather jacket haul. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, comment, and If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friend, tell your cousin, tell all of them to subscribe. And that's all for this video. Peace. Subscribe to RCJ.